everyone. This video is going to be about the body directions in ballet. Um, I know that with my students we've talked about this a couple times uh, and it's something important for us to remember but they're also sometimes difficult to remember because um, they all kind of sound a little bit alike, they all look a little bit alike, so it's easy to get them confused. Um, so it's something that's really good to just review um, and really just drill into your brain and it'll help uh, help you with picking up choreography a lot faster um, when you go and take master classes or have a guest teacher It'll help you pick up their teaching style faster um, And obviously if there's different schools of ballet, you know, like Baganova and Chiquetti and POV and RAD and all that stuff and there's slight variants to all of them um, But this one is just kind of just the general overview, okay? So one of the most important things to remember and I always talk about this with my students is you wanna pretend like there is a little box around your feet, you know? Because if you're using corners of the studio, that won't necessarily give you the best angle because the studio could be way more rectangular or way more square and narrow, um, and it can kind of twerk your body directions into not quite the exact position. But if you have your own personal little box, that's what's gonna help you achieve the correct position. So. If I'm facing directly front of my box and then I move to the front left corner and hit fifth position, this is quasi, right? Quasi means crossed because my legs are crossed. Now, as I tend you front with that front leg, this is quasi devant because I'm crossed, my legs are still crossed, and I'm tendering to the front. And just the opposite. The other leg becomes quasi derriere because now my leg is going behind me. Derriere. Yes? And this is the same if you're facing this corner or if you're facing this corner. But it's determined by which leg you have in front. So if your downstage leg is in front, that's quasi because we are crossed, right? Quasi devant, quasi derriere. Now, if I have the upstage leg in front, this is aphasse, which means open, because now my legs are open, yes? Aphasse devant, aphasse derriere. Same thing with the other leg. Aphasse devant, aphasse derriere. So to review one more time from the beginning, we have quasi devant, Quasi derriere, change your feet. A face devant, a face derriere. Next we have a carte. A carte, it can mean a couple different things depending on how you translate it. It can either mean thrown or wide apart. So it's when your legs are the most open that they'll get in these body positions. Let me scooch a little bit. So a carte devant. A carte derriere. This one gets confusing because all the other ones, when we did devant or derriere, our legs were going front or behind. This time, they are going to the side, but it's still about the body direction and the way that the legs are facing that deter determines if it's devant or derriere, right? So this one is closer to the front of the stage or the front of the studio. So that's why it's devant. And this one is closer to the back, so that's why it's derriere. And I have one more set to show you, and this one can have two different uh, terms to define it, depending on you know your school. Um, so it can either be en face, which you know is directly facing the front. You know, my face is directly to the front. I'm not angled in any way. I'm directly to the front. En face is spelled like the word face, F-A-C-E. So you want to think about your whole face is being shown to the front. Some people learn it as a la quatrième, um, which means to the fourth, you know, like fourth position. And you'll understand why that makes sense in a minute. So it can either be en face or a la quatrième devant or en face or a la quatrième derriere. Yeah, and that can be either leg. En face, devant, a la quatrième derriere. You get the idea. When we go to the side and we're facing the front, this one I think is the easiest to remember. All a right? Because we do all a turns, 
we know going to the side means olosicone, and that's exactly what it is when we are on FOSS. Now, even though I was just doing really just the feet and the body facing, we can't forget how important the upper body is with the A-palma. And there's different arms and different variations of the arms that you can do with each of these positions, um, but we do wanna make sure that those are included. So with the arms, it is quasi-devant, quasi-derriere. A face devant, a face derriere. A carte devant, a carte derriere. En face devant, en face derriere, a la seconde. I know that all those body directions can be kind of confusing. Um, so it's just a really good idea to brush up on those every once in a while and kind of like quiz yourself on them. You can make a game out of it. Um, you can make little flashcards with it. Whatever you need to do to really help you remember them, it'll help you a lot with all of your dancing in the long run.